What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today and as always we're here to talk about NFT projects on Solana. And today's video I want to make it a bit different because I want to explain my viewpoint on current market condition with Bitcoin going down, Solana going down, all the NFTs going down pretty much, most of them, you know. So I want to share my own opinion and my own strategy what I'm planning to do in current market conditions and which project I will personally will be looking for to invest my own money you know, uh, to diversify my portfolio and to kind of like save my money that I have in this space. And as always, I have to say, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is a financial advice. I'm just here to share my own opinion. So please make sure you do your own research and invest wisely. So guys, I know the whole atmosphere in the space right now is very um, dramatic, <laughs> to say the least. You know, people are losing money. The whole Twitter is filled with uh, a lot of people saying how much money they have lost, a lot of liquidations and a lot of negative uh, vibes, I would say, you know, uh, which is totally understandable because people lost a lot of money. Um, however, I would like to share my own opinion because I've been in this space since 2017, not in NFT space itself, but like in crypto space in general. So I've been through different phases of the market. I have seen these huge dips. I have been uh, through these failures and losses, I have lost a lot of money in my journey um, till this day, but I also was able to make a lot of money, you know. So there are a lot of mistakes that I have done and there are a lot of things that I have learned that I would like to explain and maybe I hope it's going to help some of you guys. So first things first, that helped me a lot uh, in the long run is basically... Uh, focusing on what is comfortable for me when it comes to risk management. I have done similar video already on my successful strategy on trading NFTs and I kind of like cover this different aspects you know when it comes to uh, the mindset and my strategies and so forth I'm gonna leave the link somewhere here on top so you can go check it out um, but I want to explain how I do it basically. Um, I really try to evaluate my uh, risk and reward ratio and my stress factors when it comes to investment into something like NFTs or crypto something that can d go down a lot one day when I wake up. So as of now my portfolio has some conservative um, projects let's say right that I don't expect them to go up like 100x overnight but I know they're not gonna dip you know 50% down overnight as well so that's like 80% of my current portfolio and then the rest I have for like quick flips or some mints you know to also flip it and like when I have the profits I either allocate it towards the long-term hold uh, or like mid uh, slash long-term hold or I reinvest into like more upcoming mints you know that's how I do it uh, but the important thing is the like psychological factor and um, inner confidence I would say the my personal comfort when it comes to investment and the ratio that I'm willing to put in this like riskier things you know um, in the past I've done my mistakes by investing or I would say over investing into some project or coin or whatever it is way more money that I was um, that I was able to lose you know so guys right now I want to share my strategy, what I'm going to do to kind of like use this current market conditions in my advantage. So what I would like to do right now is that some of my projects that held way better than any other big projects, I'm going to try to sell them right now and buy the projects that are also good, but that, but the projects that deep even more. So for example, I'm going to show you right now. So let's say Soul Gods, right? Uh, their floor price was recently about 50, like 55, 57 Solana floor price range. I personally like the project. I think it's huge. It's one of these Solana blue chips, you know, or approaching this range for sure. Uh, right now it's sitting at 30 floor price. So I'm currently considering uh, selling some of my positions that held better and then, you know, reinvesting into something like this. So this would be one of the ways for me to... Um, cut my losses and also have more room for a profit in the near future because these projects they didn't lose their value you know fundamentally speaking yes money wise floor price wise they lost the value 
monetary value. But if you look at it, like the team is the same. Whatever they were doing is exactly the same. But the perception of the market is changing. People are getting more scared to invest right now. They're trying to hold their money on the side in some stable coins and stuff like that, right? But it's not going to be always like that. Uh, I would give it a few days for sure. Uh, a few days for the market to stabilize a little bit. And then I would say a few more weeks for people to mentally start digesting what has happened, you know? At the same time, I'll be closely following uh, Bitcoin charts to understand are we going to break this overall trend and we're going to dip even further down because next support levels can be way lower than our current support level, which is around like 30,000, let's say like 29, 28, whatever, you know, uh, wh that's where we're at right now. So I want to be able to find some good projects that are currently undervalued compared to their actual value and compared to their all time highs and kind of like find these projects and grab them for cheap. Because I get it right now, the whole, the whole atmosphere, the whole space is very uh, shaky, you know? Um, and there is a lot of fear and panic and upsets. But I think from my previous experience, these are one of the best times to look for opportunities. It doesn't mean to jump into everything that you see. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna do that. But looking back, I wish I have bought more Bitcoin when it was around 3,000, even 5,000, you know? It was sitting there. I had some money, but I didn't invest as much as I could. So I'm not saying that right now we reached the very bottom. I'll be trying to see, but it's almost impossible to uh, catch the all-time high or all-time low, you know? It's all about consistency. So I'm going to be consistently putting more Solana in my wallet to be able to accumulate even more Solana because right now it's relatively cheap compared to like, I don't know, several months ago, you know, when we were buying Solana at like 100, about above $100 uh, per Solana. Right now it's around like 40, 50, whatever dollars, you know. So for me personally, it's a better time to accumulate and keep accumulating. I don't expect any reverse of the trend in a matter of days. But I think in a matter of months, I would expect Solana to boom. Like, I'm not saying just because I'm covering Solana projects, don't get me wrong. We need to see the Bitcoin to stop dipping and to go sideways. That's all we need to see. We need to see this market to stabilize a little bit, uh, both like technically and psychologically for people to stabilize a little bit after this huge dip. We need Bitcoin to just stop dipping. You know, because if you look at the charts right now, they're just going down like weekly, weekly candles, you know, they're going down. Everything is in red. We just need to see the Bitcoin to stop and then to start forming this support line and going sideways a little bit. That's when we're going to see the spike of Solana. That's when we're going to start seeing the spike in altcoins and NFT projects. That's what I expect. So please, guys, I understand it's painful. Uh, I'm here to just give you some hope, give you some ideas for how you can do it, you know. Uh, I'm just here to share my own experience that even after the biggest dips, there was always an upright, you know, there was always a bull market after that. So no worries about that, you know, please be safe. So now I'm going to share some project ideas, what I'll be looking for, what kind of projects I'll be considering as my long-term, mid-term or short-term investment for my portfolio. So Famous Fox Federation is one of these projects that is building. They have the actual usability, utility, people are using their service, you know. So I'll be definitely looking to buy one of their NFTs. I'm not sure if I'll be able or willing to buy at the current price because I believe that the price can dip a little bit more. That's my personal opinion again, you know. So I would say in the range of 15 to 17 Solana, I'll be getting this. If it goes lower, great, in the next few days. Right now, I'm not buying or selling anything today. Maybe I'll start to sell some of the positions, as I said, but then I'll have my Solano on the side to start reinvesting into these projects. Another project that I'll be looking for to invest is Generous Robots DAO. Again, I'll be looking to see even bigger correction. Unfortunately, 
like the project is amazing i'm just talking about market condition right now so don't get offended if you're holding some of this i'm just saying and explaining my viewpoint on the market so uh i would be considering to buy this one around eight if it's not gonna go down you know to eight let's say it goes up to like 12 13 fine you know we were recently just around like 18 solana on this project um why i think this project is a good investment for me because a lot of nfts of these projects are currently staked you know people have been staking this project for 30 days 60 days uh so that's why we don't see so many nfts listed right now and i think long term wise this is a still good project because i've been explaining about this project before in my previous videos and i think still it's a very good project you know so i'll be looking to see where the price is gonna go in the next few days and i'll be looking closely to be honest guys i will not be surprised to see the price around six solana as well but the project is great i believe in the team and i'll be looking to buy a lot of these robots another project that i have been mentioning so many times on this channel i'm not affiliated with them no one paid me for this you know i'm currently holding zero of og atadians so don't think that i'm shilling my own bags you know uh but i think right now it's a good time for me to get back into og atadians i'm gonna tell you why these guys have also a good use case you know they have utility they have this uh loans and micro loans and whatever you know so people actually borrow money using their platform you know there is nice art good community very solid community so i'll be looking to buy og atadians somewhere around five to seven solana uh that's what i'm thinking let's see how the market will go because if the bitcoin goes down even more we will see a huge sale <laughs> you know all around the nft space um that's just the truth of it you know so i'll be looking to buy this project cheap i believe in this project long term i think they're doing amazing so i'll be looking to buy a bunch of these as much as i can you know for a cheap price and guys if you want something a bit cheaper that is still undervalued i think this is it oasis civilization whitelist tokens were being sold for seven eight nine solana you know people minted for crazy prices and honestly speaking guys i think this project is really cool in terms of how much hype and marketing and like community they were able to generate and pull in so many people so right now it's up to them what they're gonna do with it i know that people got really upset with the floor price going down because everyone expected including me i also minted one of them um we expected way higher floor price right after the mint but the exact same day markets started going down so people started selling more than buying you know there were issues with solana with magic Eden, so all these things combined you know and people started selling uh people started to freak out people started selling cutting losses you know uh, i think that this project has a potential right now it's hard to judge where it's gonna take them you know but with so many people buying whitelist spots at seven eight solana people buying in around six five seven sol on the secondary market i think overall this project has a potential to go up we will see how fast it can go up it all depends on the general market condition right but it has a good potential in my personal opinion i have sold mine around five solana i believe and i know you're gonna be like oh paper hand but i didn't buy my whitelist uh talking for nine solana so i still profited i didn't profit it as much as i would like to you know i would like to see the floor price of like 20 solana or whatever but it is what it is i sold i'm looking to buy it back maybe below two solana that would be my price where i will be willing to buy this project we'll see in the next few days again so guys that's it for today's video I hope it hasn't been that dramatic. I just wanted to give my personal opinion, give you an update, uh, somehow give you more hope and ideas what to do in this current market situations because yes, it's tough. <laughs> not gonna lie, it's tough. I'm also not super happy about it. No one is happy about it, um, except maybe people who have been shorting Bitcoin. I don't know, you know, but overall, things are not looking that amazing as they were looking, let's say, two months ago. But still, the market has cycles 
and the market will go up. Don't worry about it. Yes, so please do your own research. Stay safe, stay profitable, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.